Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial video for migrating from Keyshot 6 or earlier to Keyshot 7. Uh, what we're going to talk about here are bringing over your assets from your Keyshot library so that you can use them in Keyshot 7 without running into too many issues. Uh, what may not be the best practice is to simply go into your My Documents or your Application Support folder and uh, start taking assets from Keyshot 6 and moving them directly into Keyshot 7. What we're going to do instead is we're going to export those assets and then move them into the, the, the appropriate directories. So I've got both Keyshot 6 and 7 open here on the Mac and I'll be toggling between the two of them. But what we're going to do is first we're going to export our assets from Keyshot 6 uh, and then bring them into Keyshot 7. So we'll go through that process here. The two main assets that are going to be uh, a little bit trickier are going to be materials and colors, and we'll talk about how those are differentiated. Uh, and then environments, backplates, and textures are going to be relatively straightforward. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So here in the scene, I just have a file open, and whatever the file is doesn't really matter anyway. I can even just pause the real-time view. Uh, but you can see that I have my materials as a separate folder in Keyshot 6 where I've saved assets into over time. So within that folder, I have two subfolders, and you may have something similar, you may have more folders, or you might just have one big folder full of assets. So what we can do is we can export our materials. So there are gonna be a few kind of caveats as we work through this. If you select an entire folder, what it's gonna do is it's gonna flatten any interior subfolders and then export those as a KMP file. So in this case, what we'll do, since I have two subfolders, uh, I'm gonna, export these separately. So that's going to make it a little bit easier in the future. But so in this case, what I'll do is I'll take these materials from my interior scene. So that's just the folder uh, I've set up. And then I can right click on that folder within my Keyshot 6 material library, and then I can hit export. Um, on my desktop, I've made a new folder called library migration. And I've just done that to give uh, a destination for this to all go to. Uh, and it's not a bad idea because then I could archive that folder later and save it. Uh, but I'm going to save this material, this KMP file as interior scene and then hit save. And that's going to export that KMP file and then miscellaneous materials. I'm going to export this one as well. I'll put it in the same directory. Um, and I'm good to go for exporting my materials. If you get any errors that pop up during that time, it may be because these materials don't have uh, the correct textures uh, being referenced. So you may have lost a texture and you might have to go refine it wherever it, li it lived previously if it wasn't uh, it within your textures folder. So just heads up on that. You may have to make sure that all your textures are where they really are or where they said they were when you saved the material. So we're good on the textures or excuse me, materials. So now here in the color tab, I've got two custom color groups as well. So same thing as materials, I'm gonna export these separately. So I can select a color group and then I can export this and I'll call this one um, bathroom colors. And again, my calculator group here. So I'll export that one as well. All right. Um, so those two are good to go uh, within my environments. I can select this entire uh, my environments folder and then I can export it. A uh, note of difference between materials and colors and environments, backplates and textures. Whenever you export um, your environments from the library. So if I were to right click and I were to export, I'm not saving out a, a KMP file or a KCP file, I'm actually saving out an HDR, HDZ, EXR file. So it's just asking me where to put all of these. So what we'll do is uh, we're actually going to put these directly into our Keyshot 7 library. And I'll show you where we can do that. Um, and again, this methodology is going to be the same for environments, backplates, and textures. So on the Mac, if I go over here, you can see that I have my Keyshot 6 resources folder and I have my Keyshot 7 resources folder side by side, and they look the same. Um, they are going to be within your uh, whatever your computer is, Mac HD library, application support, Keyshot 6 and Keyshot 7 on the Mac side. And Windows, it's going to be in your My Documents folder, depending on how it was installed on your machine. But it should be either in all users or in a specific user. Uh, documents folder. So what we can do here for those three image based assets, which are going to be really straightforward, um, we can either create 
um, the destination folder for each uh, simply by going to the Finder or Windows Explorer and we can start populating the folders here. Uh, or we can also go into Keyshot 7 here and I can start defining those directories. So in this case, I'm just going to do it through Keyshot. It's going to be a little bit more straightforward. Uh, but now I can go to my environments and what I'll do here is I will select the environments, uh, the, the root environments directory, and I will add some envir uh, a new folder and I will call this Keyshot 6. Um, and I'll do the same for my backplates. Select again the root folder. If you select one of these subfolders, it'll go inside of those. So backplates, I'll also add Keyshot six and then same thing for my textures root directory select it and now i can hit key shot six perfect so those are all good to go so when we export directly from keyshot six we now have a destination for all of those files so i can go to my environments i can right click i can select export now i can go to keyshot seven and then within my environments folder there's keyshot six hit open and now I get confirmation that those are in there. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for backplates. So my backplates, right click, export these, and I'll drop these into Keyshot 7, and then backplates, Keyshot 6, bingo. And same thing for my texture. So right click, export this, textures, Keyshot 6, perfect. Okay, so now if I toggle back over to Keyshot 7 and I hit the refresh icon in each of those, uh, each of those tabs, or if you restart Keyshot, it's going to reread all of those assets. So now I've brought over my environments, uh, backplates, and then textures. So we're good to go there. Uh, this is going to be the most straightforward way to do it for environments, backplates, and textures. We'll just bring them directly into Keyshot 7. Uh, just one word there, um, and that is essentially duplicating whatever those assets are, um, so just keep that in mind. But in this case, I want to keep the installation separate. So now that we have those, let's go ahead, now that we're in Keyshot 7, let's go ahead and import our materials and our colors, because those are going to be the ones that are a little bit different. So in this case, I'll go ahead and I want to follow the same thing as, be as before. I want to select my root directory, I'm going to hit Add Folder, and then we'll call this one Keyshot six and hit OK. All right, so now what we can do is I can select that folder and I want to import directly into that folder. And that's why whenever we exported, uh, we exported those folders separately so that I can actually get subfolders. So if I select Keyshot 6 and then I hit the import icon, I can go to my library migration folder. Here's the KMP for my interior scene. Hit open. Now you can see I have a subfolder within Keyshot 6 that says interior scene. Now I'll click Keyshot 6 again, hit import, and then now I'm going to get my other one, which was miscellaneous materials. And so now you can see my materials have come over from Keyshot 6. Uh, colors, same thing here. Although colors work going to work a little bit differently. Um, for colors, they're going to work off of color groups. So it's very similar to a folder, but all I need to do here is click new folder and that gives me a color group uh, and I think the, f the first one I did was interiors we can always rename it afterwards all right so interior colors I'm going to select it I'm going to import go to my library migration I can hit bathroom colors hit OK uh, and then I'll make a new directory or a new group as well so hit the little plus icon and I can call this one calculator and then now, once I have this selected, I will import and grab my calculator colors. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that. Otherwise, thanks for uh, tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.